Hello, everybody. It's the narrator. And today we are going to a different angle of toxic where a stepmother prevents her husband's child to talk to him. Let's go over it together. I blocked my stepdaughter. Anyone else dealt with disrespectful, manipulative stepchildren seems harsh, but I'm no longer tolerating disrespect and her causing issues between me and her father. She always acts like the grass is greener elsewhere. Now she has to deal with her mother and her boyfriend of the week. Narrator here. That seems intense. It's always good to put up boundaries in any type of relationship, especially if one party disrespects another on a regular basis. However, we don't know what's all been said yet, or the age of the stepdaughter, so we need to be mindful of that as well. Children do not understand why mom and dad break up, and how it affects them varies, and that can be attributed to how they act. Hey, I am sorry about what I did. Can I talk to my dad? I don't know the specifics of what happened, but it's a good start to apologize if Speaker 1 is apologizing without making excuses. Do you really think sorry is enough? You continue to disrespect me in my house, in front of my children. Until you can learn to respect me, no, you can't speak to your father. We are a team and your manipulation will no longer worse in separating my household. Sorry is not enough. Try again in a couple weeks when you have had enough time to think about what you do. Whoa, it's the narrator. I think we need to take a step back and look at this. The stepdaughter said that she was sorry, and it's great to set a boundary even with family, but if a child needs to talk to their parental unit, then there is a reason for that. Also, sorry to me means that you will try and change the aspect that you were wrong about. What should she do? Grovel for forgiveness? Please, I have no one to talk to. Eric is drunk and screaming at mom. I feel scared here. I am sorry and will never disrespect you again. So the stepdaughter is afraid and needs help putting aside any disagreement that the stepmother and her may have, yet the stepmother is defending her family? Here is a news flash. The stepdaughter is a part of her family. You know damn well that if it were one of her own children in that situation, she would drop everything to make sure her own child is safe and protected. The stepdaughter should be able to seek help from her father, especially now that an intoxicant is involved. The father would never forgive the stepmother if something were to happen to his daughter if he finds out that she wanted to get help from him and she wasn't able to because the stepmother wouldn't let her talk to him. You know the situation you were in at your mom's, but you still choose to disrespect me. Roll your eyes constantly, go to bed whenever you feel like it. To complain to your dad that I treat you differently, knowing the issues you would cause. Sorry, like I said, try again in a few weeks. I will also be blocking your number. It's the narrator. Breaking news. After this text, what if something happened to the child by the hands of the boyfriend? How horrible would the stepmother feel, or would she even care? I bet you that she would hide the fact that the daughter was pleading for help from her and she blocked her. Someone like this does not care about family and only cares about themselves. I hope that the father sees the red flags this woman is displaying and chooses his daughter over this woman. If you believe that a child should always be protected by their parental units, subscribe to show your support. And on that note, I am off till the next time.